Start recording. Man. Man, what's what's up, everybody? Just uh, getting myself together to do this little commentary for you. But before I start, give me a minute. Give me a second. I got to see what's going on with my lights, man. I got to see what's going on with my lights. <laughs> Gotta scratch my back too. Scratch my back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Back scratch is good. All right. So, everybody ready? Everybody, er, everybody wants some. Everybody wants some good content on YouTube. Let's go. Ryan Little. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Lockout man back again with another, another, another commentary for you. You know what I'm saying? Coming back from uh come coming back from the streets of COVID, and I still have my pneumonia, but I'm here bringing it to you guys like I would normally do. Yo, if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and consider joining the channel. You know, I'm doing a little bit of everything. I had a couple of reviews. Um, I had a couple of reviews. I had one on the snap mount and on the Ridge wallet. If you don't have the Ridge wallet, man, you better get one. I'm telling you. The Amber Forge Ridge wallet, nice. I'm just saying, it is super nice. So make sure you go pick that up. All right. Um, before I get into this, uh, into this comment, uh, into this comment for the commentary, I just really want to say, well, first thing first, I want to say thank you. You know, I, I I do appreciate the support, and I do appreciate all of the well wishes and all like that. But I want to get serious for a minute. All right. I, I really want to get serious for a minute. This is not a shot to anybody or anything like that. It was, it's just observation. You know, um, there's no friends on YouTube. Okay. There's no friends on YouTube. And let me just and just let me just make this perfectly clear. All right. You only know of a person just by what you see. And you give your opinion, your judgment on them from what you see. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't know a person personally, like actually come and meet me if I want to meet you, you know, slap hands or, you know, the fist bump or whatever, then maybe I would consider you a friend. All right. Now I know a lot of people use that word loosely. You know what I'm saying? Friends, <laughs> They, they use it loosely, like just because you like the content, you share the content, you, you, you're in my, you, you're in my inbox, you're in my DM, you, you're in my, um, chat. If I don't know you personally, then I can't consider you as a friend. All right. I'm just saying if. Me and you was to meet up personally and the vibe is good 
and you know and we we have some things in common then yeah i could fist bump you and consider you as a friend but until then you are an associate now you can call me up you can call me up and i i'm not going to I'll take all you guys calls. I, I read all you guys emails and I and I um, answer all of the comments when I try because there's a lot of you guys that be hitting up the comments and I try to get back at y'all in the inboxes. All right. At that point, we're associates. You don't know me. You're only coming on to ask me for either advice, tips, or how am I doing? Now, when I was sick, a lot of you guys reached out in so many ways. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. You guys reached out to me, gave me so much well wishes and everything. And I, I, I am so emotional about that because I didn't know a lot of you guys take the content over here with some value i didn't know that i didn't know that again you know you guys always tell me hey don't worry about what the next man say about you or the next woman say about you you guys say that all the time you guys say yo you bring good content to the channel keep it up keep it up and i will and I will. That's what you guys subscribe to me for. That's what you guys watch me for. Y'all, and that's, and I, I guess that's what you guys know me for. So, again, as I, as I spoke before, I talk trucks. I talk to people that drive trucks. I talk to trucking companies. I don't, I, I don't, I don't talk. I, I don't talk all that drama mess. I don't talk, I don't do none of that. And here's another thing. How, you know, how I move. Okay. I, I'm not moving, I'm sitting. <laughs> I'm behind, a, I'm, I'm in front of a green screen. You know, in front of the camera talking to you guys. So how am I moving? How, how can you see how I move? You... You, 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 you can't see that, how I move. Well, once I found out how he moves, then that's when I formulated opinion against him. Okay, how, how I move? I'm not moving, I'm sitting. And that, I, I've been sitting in all my videos. So again, you know, if it's not about money, because number one, you're not paying me. <laughs> I'm just saying, you're not paying me. My money's not going to stop. <laughs> My money's not going to stop. But I will tell you this, I have this past month, I have learned a lot, <laughs> okay? I, I have learned a lot, you know, I, I learned what to do, what not to do, what to say, and what not to say. I have learned a lot. And with you guys, uh, you know, calling me up, letting me know what's going on and all like that, and, and giving me your advice, I really do appreciate it. I really do. Um, I'm still in recovery, of course, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah. My my advice is to definitely, definitely watch who you talk to. Watch who you think that is cool with you. Watch what you say around them. Definitely watch what you say around them. Because a lot of times they can take what you say out of context seriously they can take what you say out of context and then run back and formulate an opinion or or an observation based on what you said so 
watch who you talk to watch who you watch who you make friends with friends again in order to get and uh, you know I, I i i keep my circle small real small now so small that i don't even think i got people in it well i got a few people but you know the people that i consider friends are people that i can actually reach out to and say hey man um you know i'm 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 a little stuck right now can you can you let me hold something and then and then those will be the ones that be like yeah no questions asked not no no questions asked no what do you need it for why do you need it or nothing like that how much you need how how much you need boom that's 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 it that's it you know if i can reach out to you and say hey man you know i've i I'm, I'm 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 stuck um i need a couple of hundred until next week all right boom cash out do 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 boom zell do 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 boom and then that next week come i pay him back or if i can't pay him back i'll i'll try to you know give him you know give him a little bit to let him know that you know i will pay him eventually pay him back you know try to give him a hundred dollars that friday and give him a hundred dollars the next friday to pay him back if I don't pay him back the whole the full fare. So if we tend to meet up or meet somewhere and we vibe and we slap hands and all like that, then maybe I would consider you my friend. All right? I would consider you my friend. I'm still cool with everybody. If I meet you, if I see you in a truck stop, if I meet up with you or something like that, you know, we'll talk, yada, 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 yada. But see, in order to formulate a good opinion of me, of me, get to know me. Get to know me. Don't just turn around and be like, oh, well, I don't like that guy. And, you know, I don't like what he stand for. I don't like what he do. But what what do I do over here that what do I do over here that you don't like? Or what do I do over here that offends you? Like I said, I talk trucks. That's all I do. I talk trucks. I talk to people who drive trucks. I talk to people who, who, who has a trucking company. I talk to recruiters. So what, what do I do other than that over here? Will you show me one video over here. You know, show me one video that offended you in some kind of way that you formulated opinion on me that you don't like. All right. I'm just saying, I'm just saying it's, it's not about drama with me or nothing like that. I don't, I don't want to get into it. I don't, I don't want to get into the drama, you know, especially of the trucking spear, you know, it's too many of us out here that's making money. We all doing the same freaking thing. We drive trucks from point A to point B every day. So if you get bored or want to rant or want to just talk about your day, then you jump on YouTube and then you turn the camera on and say whatever, 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 whatever you want. Some people is a little bit too transparent on YouTube. Just a little bit too transparent. I'm just saying, you know, a lot of people want to know the business. You got to understand that the people that watch you, some of them just want to see you fall. They don't, 
they, they don't want to see your success. It's just remember we remember the remember remember the um, MTV Cribs. All all the all these big time rappers that faked all that shit, the fake cribs, the fake rides, the fake money. They 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 come and say, yo, this is my crib. Come in. And then you see all, all the bling and all like that. And you sitting in a two cent home. Seething. That's that that's that guy like. Oh man, I I just don't like that guy. I got I gotta type, I gotta type in somewhere right. I don't like that. I don't like that guy. They just wanna see, you know what? If you're a successful person and you show all that success and and you only and you wonder why your channel is like is like on the low side or whatever because you showing all your success and everything everybody is everybody yeah they clapping they clapping but there are some people that just sit there that just sit there and want to see you fail they want to see you fall from grace and then you'll notice a gang of people come up in the live feed or come up in the comment session or or the views you can tell by the views okay while we're talking while we're talking about trucking maybe a handful want to know but when we're talking about drama then everyone loses their minds everyone is over here everyone want to know what's up what's what's going on why this why that why you why do you this and why you that why you coming after me if you come after me i'm gonna have to make a video that's that's just what i do and you also got people you you got people in the chat going back and forth saying what the other person is saying about you over there Oh, well, he's saying, he's saying this about you now. Oh, he's saying this about you now. He's saying this about you now. I'm not worried about all of that. I'm not. I'm not worried about all of that. I'm worried about one thing. Well, two. I'm worried about getting my money and make sure that my money comes consistently every week every deposit make sure that my mouth is right and i get paid for what i do that's what i worry about number two i worry about my family well number two is my health all right i worry about my health number three i worry about my family make sure that my family is all right especially my mother make sure that my family is all right Call my mom's up all the time. Hey, mom, how you feel? How you doing? You okay? Yada, yada, yada. Okay, boom. Call my son up. Hey, you got everything? You, you, you good? You need some money? You need to pay a bill? Whatever, whatever. Bam, bam, boom. That's it. I don't have time to worry about what somebody thinks about me. It's your opinion. Just like I got mine. So you telling me I can't, I can't have an opinion, but you can? Uh, here's what I don't like about you, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay, tell me. And then when I come back with my opinion, you're going to get mad. Oh, I'm a fuckboy. <laughs> I'm this, I'm that. I see how you move and all like that. How do I move? I'm not moving. So that word friends is a value. And be careful who you give the friend to. You know, be careful. 
Be careful who you talk to. I learned that. I I learned it. Be careful who you talk to. Be careful who you who you interact with. You know? Be careful who you interact with. Because not everybody is your man's. Not everybody is your man's. You may think they're cool with you, but they're not. A rich man once says, when you go broke, see how many people is in your corner then. Because when you got all that money and you got all that clout and you got all the, and you got all everything, and you see a gang of people that's hanging around you, hanging around you, hanging around you. There's always that one person in the group, though, that's seasoned in the background. Come on now, think about it. Selena, you know what I'm saying? There's always that one fan that don't like you, that just don't like you. John Lennon. There's always somebody that just wants to see you fail instead of come up. Maybe one day that all this will probably come to an end. Maybe. But I don't know. As long as it's, as long as YouTube is in existence, then there's going to always be somebody talking about somebody. Like I said, I don't want to be a part of it. Um, I don't want to be a part of it. I'm not going to be a part of it. Um, the only thing I want to be a part of is money moves for now on. That's it. Money moves, you know. Talk to me about poker. Talk to me about trucking. Talk to me about how I can save money, how I need to start an IRA. Uh, talk to me about Bitcoin. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that is, and I got a whole bunch of people in my motherfucking DM asking me about that shit. Yo, you know about Bitcoin? No, I don't know about no motherfucking Bitcoin. What the fuck is Bitcoin? I don't know shit about that. Bitcoin, it, is it cash? No, it's a digital currency. Uh, but is it cash though? Y'all, y'all remember, y'all remember the dude from the Wire, where he went and asked the guy about, uh, asked the guy about, you know, putting his money up in a in a Bohemian bank or some shit like that. Dude say he don't trust nobody if he can't touch the money. That dude got on a fucking boat, went across the water to actually see his fucking money. That's me. <laughs> so this Bitcoin, digital, dog coin, or, or anything of this investments that they doing, if it's something that I can't see, if I can't see that shit, I don't, I, I don't want no parts of it. Maybe, maybe it's because I don't know. Call me old. I, I come from I, I come from a school where motherfuckers put their money up under put their motherfucking money up under a bed. Let me tell you something about my about about my wife about my about my estranged wife's grandmother. When she passed, when she passed, the kids went over there to clean up. Right while they was cleaning up. She said, yo, we found a couple of envelopes. What about, what, what about a grand? What about a G in each envelope? I think they only found like, like two or three or whatever. I don't know. But, you know, everybody that was cleaning out the house or whatever, you know, they, you know, they split it amongst themselves. But that was grandma. She ain't believe in no fucking bank. Just like my granddad, he didn't believe in no fucking bank. He had a he had a chest. I heard stories of my grandfather. He had a chest. 
and he always put his money in that chest. And when he passed, when he passed, I don't know the story after that, but uh, let's just say, let's just say somebody was very happy when they, when, when they got that chest. I mean, you know, this is the new digital age of everybody trying to put they try to put their investments in Bitcoin and dog coin and cryptocurrency and and all like that. You know, I'm I'm not from I'm I'm from again, I'm from an era where people put their money in in a in a pillow up under the mattress, in chests, in envelopes and just leave it there. That's how they save. They only go to the bank when they needed to go to the bank. I'm from an era where paper checks, when you had to literally go to a bank, talk to a teller, cash your check. And sometimes they will have to hold the check, especially if it's a lot of money. Like, let's say, I, I, think, I, I, I think I got paid like one. $1,500 from this one company that I worked at back in the day and they gave me a check and I was only able to get 500. I had to wait a week or a couple of days to get the rest of my money. <laughs> Not now. You know, you get that direct deposit, your money is available. So I don't know about all this cryptocurrency and all this other bullshit I don't know nothing about that. That's why I don't fuck with it. But I got everybody in my DM that want <laughs> that wants me to invest in it. Yo, you mind if I take about five minutes of your time to tell you about cryptocurrency? No. Mind if I take <laughs> ten minutes of your time and talk about Bitcoin? No. But invest your money though, truck drivers. Invest your money in whatever you want to invest in and, and concentrate on that. Concentrate on that. Concentrate on getting your money. Now, if you legitimately want to be a friend again, if I was to meet you or something like that, if we talk on the phone or something like that, it's just like, it's just like a tent. It's like, <laughs> It's like dating. It's like dating. All right? It's like dating. We talk on the app, then we move to the phone, and then we find out that we got something in common and all like that. And then if that vibe is right, we move on to the next level of meeting. Of meeting. You know? And if the vibe after we meet and the vibe is right, then I guess we can continue with the conversation or whatever, whatever, to make a friendship connection. Not everybody is your friend. Again, not everybody is your friend. And a lot of people want to see you fail. Now, I'm not a celebrity. I don't tend to be a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? YouTube, it is what it is on YouTube. You know, people find your content for whatever value that they can get out of it. So if somebody saw my content because of the make the call videos, they found value in that video. And that's why they come back for more. Or if you saw my video because of a, because of a door unlock I did, then they found value in that content to come back to see what, what else that you brought out. Now, I do agree with YouTube on one thing, consistency. You know what I'm saying? Consistency sales. That's what I agree. I don't, I don't agree with YouTube on nothing else. But that consistency. And if you continue with that consistency, then maybe that dude will bring his friends over, 
his friends and friends will come over, his friends and friends, and you see your subscriber count go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. You know, I'm a small. I'm still considered a small channel, even though I've been on YouTube for over 15 years. <laughs> Crazy, right? And I'm still considered a small ass channel. <laughs> but again, before you know, before I get on up out of here, I know I didn't didn't have time, but I could make a separate video on that part. But um, but yeah, it is what it is, man. Um. For me, I appreciate all you guys that rocks with me. You know what I'm saying? And a couple of you I have met off offline and all like that, you know, and we're cool like that. But again, just just be cool. Just be cool and be careful. Be cool and careful on who you fuck with. Who you bring in your circle. That's all. That's all. Cause I've seen it. I've seen it all. Everybody in everybody jumps in and out of everybody's circle. They get mad at this one person and then they jump over there to the other guy. Then they get mad at that guy and then they jump over to fuck with the other guy. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like job jumping. <laughs> If you don't like that, if you don't like that job, you're going to job jump from job jump to job jump <laughs> until you until you get comfortable with the motherfucker that 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 you want to consider your friend and keep it in your circle. You know, <laughs> so. Again. Just, you know, just be careful on who you let in your circle and who you give that word friend to because in YouTube land as of late there has been no friends in YouTube land you know what I'm saying so well that's it that's going to do it for this commentary right quick um yeah kind of different right <laughs> um you guys take it easy uh if you like if, if you like what I'm doing over here, show some love, show some support. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that, uh, hit that join button. You know, I like that. If you, uh, if, if you like what I'm doing over here and, uh, and if you do want to consider me as a friend or something like that, and you want to know how I'm doing, by all means, you can, you know, my phone number is available somewhere around here. Give me a call. Or hit me up in the DM over at Instagram, you know, to check up on. And if we should ever meet in life, you know, if we should ever meet in life and slap hands with each other, then by all means, let's see if you can come out of if you can come into the friend zone. All right. All right, guys, y'all take it easy, and I'll come back at you with another one. Peace. Brian Little. <laughs>